Welcome back everybody. Now today I'm taking a look at the Ball Aluminum Cup. This is supposedly an infinitely recyclable alternative to plastic cups and it's my contribution to the Team Seas movement which has taken over YouTube. That's today's video. Before I get to the product, I want to go over a couple things. First of all, this is not a sponsored post. The makers of this have no idea who I am, so I'm going to give you my fair opinion of it. Second of all, this video is part of the Team Seas movement, which if you're viewing this on YouTube on October 29, 2021, should be blowing up your feet about now. The Team Seas movement is raising money to remove trash from the ocean. For every dollar that is donated, one pound of trash is going to be removed. So I'll have a link below how you can learn more about that. At first I was wondering, what is a product reviewer in the desert going to do about the Team Seas movement? But if you look behind me, that's Lake Mead where 90% of the Las Vegas drinking water comes from. And Nevada only gets 4% allocation of that lake. The rest goes to other states like Arizona and California. So even though we use a small percentage of it, we've managed to reduce our consumption over the last 20 years as our populations continue to increase. So I definitely appreciate the value of clean water. Now with that PSA out of the way, let's take a look at today's product. Now at home, I have a box filled with products that I just buy randomly. I'm not even sure what I'm going to do with them. This is one of them that's been in the box for a while. I thought it looked interesting. I, had, I didn't really have a use for it, but when I heard about the Team Seas movement, I thought this is a great opportunity to pull this out and give it a shot. The purpose of the ball aluminum cup is literally to reduce plastic waste that ends up landfills and oceans. So it seems like a perfect fit for the Team Seas movement. So let's first take a look at my unboxing and then get started. The package I got has 30 cups. They come in several different types of uh, quantities. They say it's lightweight and sturdy, cool to touch for cold drinks, infinitely recyclable from 100% aluminum, made in America. Some information about recycling aluminum back here. They consider this limited extended use, not one-time use, not permanent, but kind of in between there. Not dishwasher safe, no hot beverages. Well, we, got, uh, we got 30 of them, let me just pull one out. All right, well, it's, it, it's about the weight of an aluminum can. Comparing it to a popular party cup, it's much less durable feeling, the cup is. This is much more solid feeling. Uh, this is 18 ounces, this is 20. Let's run some tests and then get started. So I really wasn't sure how I was gonna test an aluminum cup because really all you do is pour liquid in there and, and drink out of it, really not rocket science. But the first time I used this myself, I noticed how cold it felt to my hands. So I was curious if it actually keeps drinks colder than plastic cups. That's not a claim they actually state themselves, but I wanted to see. So I did a quick test and here's what happened. All right, so my first test is not even something that's really an advertised feature, but I'm just kind of curious. Will this aluminum cup keep a drink cold longer than this plastic cup? Let's find out. 12 ounces of water in this one. 12 ounces of water in this one. Put the same number of cubes in both of these. One, two, three, four big cubes in the first one. One, two, three, four big cubes in the second one. Here we go, water out of the same source, four ice cubes in each. Let's check the temperature and then see what happens. All right, first check, 45 and 46, pretty close. Let's come back in a while and see what the difference is, if any. All right, it's been sitting for about 20 minutes. It's kind of stabilized around 41, 42 degrees. Let's check the external temperature with this trusty thermometer and see how it looks. Aluminum cup seems to be around 58 to 60 degrees, somewhere in there. Plastic cup, oh, it's a little bit warmer. It looks like around 63, 64 degrees. And you can see there is a, a layer of frost on the outside. Uh, nothing on the plastic cup just yet. All right, at the 90 minute mark, let's take a look. Looks like we're only a one degree off, so they're still about the same. Let's see, take a look at the ice here. Just a little couple pieces left in each one, so I don't know, I think it's, I'd say at this point, it's about a tie. I'll leave it here longer and see if there is a significant difference, but at this point, I think after an hour and a half, you probably wouldn't have the cup that full anyway, so I think it's pretty close. All right, so it didn't really keep the drink any colder than the plastic cup, but it didn't underperform either, so I, it's not really an impressive test against the plastic cup in that respect. But I've gotta be honest, I tried, so the answer to that is it's no real difference between that and plastic cups. It feels about the same weight and consistency as, as an aluminum can, but how easy is it to crush compared to one? Let me see. Aluminum can first. Oh, very simple. Ball aluminum cup. About, about as simple, I guess. Maybe a little bit more difficult. Maybe slightly sturdier. If you were wondering, there's your answer. So let me talk about some pros and cons of using the uh, ball aluminum cup over a plastic cup after using this for about a week. Number one, it is more recyclable than a plastic cup. That's probably the biggest feature. 
aluminum is 100% recyclable. Plastic, not so much. In fact, a lot of places, this actually isn't recyclable at all. So the biggest pro is that this is 100% recyclable, this is not. My next pro is that it's not only more recyclable, but more reusable than the plastic cups. Now, I know most people don't use a plastic cup around the house, some people do, but I've been using this for about a week now. All I do is wash it out every night. Now I know it's not dishwasher safe, but just rinsing it out with soap and water, it's good to go. It really doesn't look any worse than the other ones that I haven't used yet. I'm guessing I'm gonna get a couple weeks use out of this one. People in comments on Amazon were saying they've gotten at least weeks worth of use out of it. So it's certainly more reusable than a plastic cup. My third pro, which is kind of a minor one, is this holds 20 ounces, this holds 18. So those two ounces might add up after a while. Another pro is that these are more durable while drinking. Like if I'm squeezing this pretty hard, it's, it's not moving. This one, oh, look at that. You don't want that. Plastic cups are not as durable as the aluminum cups. And I just got, I just got water all over my notes. <laughs> my next pro is that it does not affect the taste. That was my, my biggest concern when I got these, is it's going to taste like an aluminum can. Mm. It doesn't affect the taste. It doesn't affect the smell. There's no effect whatsoever. I was kind of happy about that. I was worried about it but it's not the case. My final pro is that these are available in stores, so you don't have to order them online and wait for them. I've seen them at grocery stores, I've seen them at Walmart and Target, so these are easy to find. Uh, that's something that might be more convenient. Next time you're in the plastic cup section, check it out, you'll probably find them. Now let's take a look at the cons of the aluminum cups. They're more expensive than plastic cups. Plastic cups are gonna be 10 cents or less a piece. These, 50 to 66 cents a piece, so it's not as, cost effective as getting plastic cups so it's something to consider on the other hand that extra cost could be offset if you end up getting weeks of use out of these which you wouldn't get out of a plastic cup my next con is that they're not for hot beverages but i've heard some people in the comments also saying they can kind of get by that by using a insulated sleeve let's see i don't think it's recommended for hot beverages but people are going to use sleeves like this so it might be something to consider my final con is that if you don't recycle them or if your recycling center nearby doesn't handle aluminum, they'll still end up in the landfill. So you have to make sure you're kind of uh, on top of recycling or it kind of defeats the purpose. Other considerations, uh, they're not microwave safe or dishwasher safe, but neither are most plastic cups either. So that's not really a con compared to plastic cups, but it might be a con compared to regular cups. I saw someone in the comments saying that they lacked a lid, but I don't know if cups like this would have a lid. So I don't know why, why you would want that. I mean, not all cups have lids. So there's a lot of reasons why people might buy a cup like this, but you might want to consider something like this as one small step towards a much bigger problem of plastic and landfills in the oceans. So be sure to check out the link below for teamseas.org and how you can contribute. Feel free to share this video in case you know someone who might want to participate as well. And the next time you need to buy some plastic cups, give these a try. They might actually work for you. I appreciate you watching and I'll see you next time. You think that's too close? <laughs> <laughs> Be careful. Uh, oh, oh no. I'm getting nervous over there. <laughs> Welcome back everybody. Now today I'm taking a look at the... This is supposedly an infinitely recyclable alternative to plastic cups and it's my contribution to the Team Seas movement which has taken over YouTube. That's today's video. That was a good intro. That was a good intro right there. I'm taking... That's a keeper right there. Yes. It's recording and I look good? Yeah. I look pretty? Look uh, uh, uh. <laughs> when we first got here there's no planes. Now it's a plane every five seconds. I'm not gonna fall. If I fall, you have to come get me. If I fall, you gotta, you gotta, fireman's carry me up that hill. You gotta fireman's carry me over your shoulder. Bugs, man. There's some flying bugs. There's a flying bug by you. <laughs> so again, this was created for the TeamSeas.org movement. I have a link below if you want to contribute to them. And even if you don't, no, don't say that. <laughs> so be sure to check out the link below for TeamSeas.org and how you can contribute. And also share this video for those who might want to participate. <sighs> so feel free to share this video with those who you might want. <laughs> I can't say that. I can't say it. <laughs> I can't say it. I can't say it. So feel free to share this video and. <sighs>